Wow. What a crash landing that was. And an impact and everything. Oh. Whew. Uh, welcome, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. Uh, apparently, I committed a crime. I know I did. I shouldn't have. Uh, there was a video game on a shelf that I really liked. Digital shelf. And I kind of stole it. And apparently, uh, the Sentinel Corporation uh, caught me. So, for stealing uh, the latest version of Minecraft 3, I managed to uh, get myself arrested by the Sentinel Corp. And they sent me here. So, welcome to your assigned planet. Your mission is to advance the terraformation process of this world. Generate O2, heat, and pressure to do so. First, reach uh, 175,000 TI. Okay. Uh, and create a blue atmosphere. It's not blue. Ooh, no, it's not. Okay. Uh, yeah, welcome everybody to the Planet Crafter. Apparently for committing my heinous crime, I could either be sentenced to death or I could be sent to a planet, a remote planet, and I have to terraform this thing into a luxurious and livable uh, environment. Hmm. Maybe I should have just chose death. Okay, so we got a crafting station here. We got a bunch of stuff, but they all take resources to get. I think the first thing on my list... My oxygen's only at 100 that I can hold, and if you step outside, you can see that that depletes pretty quickly. So I'm going to need two things. I'm going to need a backpack, I'm going to need an oxygen tank. So let's see, oxygen tank is iron, magnesium, and cobalt. All right, let's go grab uh, Let's go grab that. There's a, there's a piece of cobalt right here. Let's suck this up with my little tool. And let's get on, on over to, here's another piece of cobalt right there. Suck that up with my tool. This looks like iron. And that looks like magnesium right there. All right, now, in preparation for this series, uh, I actually did play this briefly just to get an idea of what I'm doing, kind of vaguely, so I can know how things kind of function. Otherwise, you'll see me just ride the struggle bus the entire time. All right, let's go ahead and make the oxygen tank. And we're going to go ahead and equip that into our inventory spot. we got four inventory spots. I can actually expand that later with an exosuit. You see in the first steps on the top left of the screen, though, I need to craft a backpack, tier one. So I needed, what was that, two iron? Yeah, I need two iron for that. I do remember iron is, like, super important. You need tons of this stuff. So, let's go ahead and grab that and grab that. There's two iron. Luckily, there's a lot to scour on this planet. But, you know, let's uh, let's, let's get going with the basics here. Let's see. We can equip that. So, now we have more. See, without that, we only have... Uh, we basically gain an inventory line here. All right. Construction. Uh, craft a microchip construction. Okay. So, the microchip construction is two silicon... To magnesium. Let's go get that. I have 145 or 150 health now, so that's a lot better. Or uh, oxygen, so that's a lot better than what it was before. Uh, what did I need? Two magnesium and two silicon, I think it was, right? So here's the magnesium. And here's the silicon. And here's the magnesium. And here's the silicon. Alright, that should be enough to make it. Now, I also do want. Oh, there's my pod. I was like, where did my pod go? I started panicking, having a little hot flash right there. Whew! I do also want to um, craft a deconstruction chip, even though that's not part of the, the mission thing here, because that's how you deconstruct things, like this one right here. So I need one silicon and one magnesium to do that. First, let's do that, because that's part of the mission. We'll equip that as well, and then the deconstruction chip will be the other one, which was just one of each, I believe. Let's grab the silicon. Did I not? Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. And let's grab some magnesium. All right, so I have to change this into a lush, lively planet. That's that's no way. No way that's going to happen. All right, deconstruction chip. Go ahead and equip that too so I can break things down. Now, there's also a torch chip or a flashlight uh, chip, which I'll worry about a little bit later once I start exploring Rex. It says right there, needed to explore Rex because it gets pretty dark in there. All right, so there's also a water bottle, a little bit of ice. We can do that. We can see we have water down here in the bottom left as well as our hunger and health right there. So we can fill that by eating foods. In our storage chest starting off, we have the seed of Lerma. We have seed Lerma. Uh, we have some space food. We have like five bits of that. We have a little bit of water, and we also have this oxygen capsule, which I'm going to take with me wherever I go for the starting part. Okay, so we need to craft a living compartment. And I guess right here is as good a place as any, because it's relatively flat down here in this little valley. So let's get to work on constructing that. What do we need to make a living compartment? Now that I have the construction chip, I can open this access. So I need two iron and a piece of titanium. All right, so bam. Bam. And bam. There's two iron and two titanium. All right. Um, there's my escape pod. I, I, I know that I'll have oxygen when I go inside this thing, so I will place it right there. 
All right, now I need to craft a living compartment door, which takes silicon, uh, titanium, and iron. Okay, so iron. Like I said, iron used for everything. Titanium. And right there, silicon, right there. Bam. Okay, so now I can put a doorway on this thing. Uh, right here. And I can walk on inside and refill my oxygen. Look at me go. All right, home base. We got it established. Look at us. We're living high life. This planet is ours. But the next thing I got to do, though, is I need to... I need to, one, expand that. That's not a lot of space. And two, I need to uh, get a little bit of storage going or something because I'm going to go around collecting a ton of these uh, resources and I need to be able to put them someplace. At the moment, the only storage I can build is a storage crate, similar to what I have in the drop pod over there. Uh, and they just take a simple piece of iron to make. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a few pieces of this. Now, the first steps up there is telling me that I need to build a drill. So a drill is... Or not a drill. Yeah, the tier 1 drill right here. But I don't have power to actually generate that. So wind turbines uh, generates energy that powers all machines on the planet. Nice. Let's go ahead and slap that down right there. Bam. We have the power. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and collect a bunch of iron and titanium and expand my little base a little bit. Because, ooh, there's a crate right here. What do we got inside? Good stuff, I hope. A uh, bunch of supplies and food and uh, oxygen capsules, so I will take that. Um, can't hold all of it, but uh, that's much appreciated. All right, let's go ahead and expand our base a little bit. Get some more uh, compartments added onto the side. I need one piece of titanium. There we go. All right, now, this is not going to be a hardcore series, but I'm going to try my best not to die. Look at us. We got a nice little place going here. I'm gonna try my best not to die. Uh, let's, I guess, just add some storage here. Let's turn it this way. And it's right there. Uh, I'm completely out of iron already. Look at me go. All right, let's just throw everything in there except for the oxygen. That's gonna be my saving grace. If all else fails, the oxygen will save me. All right, let's get the rest of whatever's in here. Food and more air. We can deconstruct this now that we know the chip, so that's good. We got a piece of iron for it. Uh, I need more iron. Iron is the thing. Iron is super important. Let's grab all the iron in the world. All right, so the goal here is to terraform the planet, right? So we do this by using machines and uh, and changing the atmosphere, the pressure on the planet, and uh, let's grab some titanium too over here, and uh, the heat of the planet. So to do that, though, I'm going to need a lot of machines and a lot of power. You can see right there on the in the first step, still we still got to craft uh, the drill, which will increase the pressure. We got to craft a heater, which will increase the heat, obviously, and a vegetube, which will increase the vegetation. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, craft one of these guys again. We're gonna get a bunch of storage in here because I'm gonna just go around collecting resources like crazy and see if I can't uh, get this place. Ooh, hold on, that's that's, uh, that's not right. It's not lined up right. See if I can't get this place uh, functioning as like a base. That one had to jut out a little bit because it was kind of touching the wall, but that's fine. This is just temporary anyway until I get things working. All right, let's take everything except for silicon out of there. Let's put some of the iron in there, put the titanium in there, put the cobalt in here. Is there a space right there? Oh, that's going to bug me. No, it's temporary. Temporary. All right, and then uh, actually let's take the iron back out of here because I want to create a... Let's turn this this way. I want to create a... Food chest, food and, and air and water chest right there. Okay, there's also this crafting station tier two, which is gonna be kind of important. I can also then craft like water from that too, instead of running back to the pod. So what, is it, what does it take for that? Iron and silicon, let's go grab that real fast. Here's a little bit of iron, because my water is getting a little low. So I'm gonna grab that ice right there. More iron, I'm just gonna grab every iron I see. And I need silicon, where's that? There's some right there. More iron. Hydration level low. Yes, thank you for notifying me. This does this does give you a notification when your, your meters are getting a little low, but the oxygen one it only gives you like 10 seconds. So it's easy to suffocate and die in this. Go ahead and grab this, grab that, fill up my inventory with whatever's around me right now. Inventory full. Alright, we're heading back. Alright, so I should be able to craft. The uh, crafting station. I'm gonna put it right here by the door, turn it to kind of angle it maybe for now. We'll keep it 90 degrees. Right there. Bam. All right, so now I can create some water. Drink that. We're good on hydration. Uh, nothing to put in there. Got one bit of cobalt to stash. No titanium. This is where all the iron's gonna go. 
and this is where this uh, silicon is and then this one will be for the magnesium all right I'm gonna head out there and I'm gonna start grabbing some supplies so we can start building some stuff with them then six and a half hours later Ooh, all right, almost died already there. Look at me go. All right, so I did, uh, did a little bit of collecting. Gathered just some of the basic resources around here. Hopefully I have enough to actually start building some stuff now. Um, I got an entire chest full of uh, silicon right now, and I got, eh, I'm a little low on titanium. All right, so what do we need to make? We need to make a drill, huh? Let's go ahead and look at this. Drill, iron, and titanium. The one thing I'm short on right there is titanium. Did collect every bit of iron I could find. All right, let's go over here, I guess. And we'll put down a drill. Bam. All right, the terraformation has begun. You can see on the top of the terraformation index, I'm at one TI. I need 175,000 TI to uh, make the skies blue, apparently. But I have begun. All right, so what else do I need? I need a terraformation screen and blueprint screen. Okay, nifty. All right, let's make the stuff to actually terraform some iridium. Okay, I need to get that. That's not going to be accessible right away, so... Uh, the veggie tube I can make though magnesium iron and ice. All right, so I do have ice uh, Magnesium iron and ice. Let's grab this iron here and magnesium there. All right, let's make Don't have a lot of room in here. Let's actually make a little bit more compartments uh, a little bit more Space we're gonna actually take that and a few bits of titanium. It looks like it's nighttime ish There's not really a day night cycle per se in this uh, game because you're on you're not on earth so <laughs> It's kind of it's kind of like it. Oh, I can't place that here. That's a that's a shame. I wanted to. This little pebble is in the way. Well, that's a shame. All right, let me we'll just put, it, put it right there, and we'll put this one not right there. Why can't I place it? I guess there's something else in the way. All right, so I guess we'll have to just live in this for right now. All right, so let's get to work on building this. All right, place that right there. Power low. That's not good. Everything just went to hell. All right, so we need more wind turbines than that means because we ran out of power. Let's make uh, let's make two of these, two more of these. There we go. Make sure we always have power going. All right, so this thing. Remember how when we started off we had that seed of whatever? It's still back in the. Do I have anything in my inventory? I'm gonna make sure my inventory is as open as I can be, so I can grab as much stuff as I can. I'm gonna go head back to the escape or to the landing pod here. And I'm going to grab everything out of the chest there, so there's really no reason for us to come back to this thing other than for an air pocket. There's actually a chest over there I can see, just on that sand area. But first, let me get this, because that's how I'm going to create oxygen. I'm going to grab everything out of there. And uh, let's uh, let's grab some stuff on the way. Actually, let's go see what's in that chest right away, because I got the oxygen tank, or I got the oxygen to survive there. So let's go back here and see what's in this chest. Hopefully there's no aliens creeping around in here. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, ooh, there's a meridium right there. I need that, actually. I need I need the iridium. I need the iridium. Let's eat some food, because I need to anyway. Uh, and then I wouldn't mind grabbing the rest of this stuff, but, you know what? I'll come back and grab it. All right, so we do have that piece of iridium. We can make a heater now. All right, so to make the heater, we needed that piece of iridium. So now that we have it, we can actually make this thing and just set this up right there. All right, so we are, we are working on heat. We are working on... Oxygen? Not yet. Let's put that in there. Now we're working on oxygen. You can see it says oxygen 0.15 ppq parts per quintillion per second, I think, or something like that. Quadrillion, maybe? I don't know. Uh, and it's consuming some energy, of course. This is also producing 30 pks uh, heat. I don't know what pks means. It's some type of unit of measurement, though. All right, so last thing we need to do for the first steps here is we need to create the terraformation screen, which is this. We actually have everything on us to do it. Why don't we just slap it on the wall right here? Like right there. Good. All right, so we can monitor everything there. My hydration's a little low. We can see the heat, oxygen, and pressure, and what the rate in which they are. Uh, oh, the rate by which they are is below it there in the smaller text, and then what it currently is on the planet is above it right there. So the total terraformation is 74 TI right now. I need to do one th 100. I need to do a lot more than that. Thousands more better than that. So I've got some work cut out for me. Let's go ahead and drink some water so we don't die. Um, got yeah, my work is really cut out for me with that. Oh boy. 
But we also have to craft the blueprint screen, which is this thing right here. So iron and silicon, which I believe this thing needs to, you know, like sit like just on its own. It's like a, it's like a screen. Oh, and magnesium. Oh wait, no, I'm looking at the wrong one. Yeah, it just sits on the ground like a like a lamp or whatever, or like a uh, like a regular desktop screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get fancy with it. I'm gonna put down a desk. Bam, just like that. Blueprint screen. Look at that. We're even gonna angle a little bit. Look at us living the high life. So this is how you unlock things, basically. It well, this is this tells you how you unlock things. So for terraformation, just the general terraformation, and you can see your current state of it right here. If I want a two-two backpack, I gotta get this up to three hundred, and then I can make that. For solar panels, I need to get it to one thousand, and so on and so forth. You can see all the stuff. Advanced crafting station. There's the storage lockers. That'd be nice to have. Uh, and there's oh man, uh, we got some meteors coming in. You can see them right there. So this is how you get more resources, so long as you don't get hit by a meteor. So the resources do come out of these things then as they hit. Kind of valuable resources. I can make a 2-2 oxygen tank. That's unlocked. Apparently I had to get it to 140 TI. That one almost hit. Now I don't think these can actually damage your property, which is nice. But they can certainly damage me. That one might have just hit my drill. Whoa. Alright. Oh, no, it's not done yet. Oxygen level low. I gotta get back inside and get a breath of fresh air, regardless of what's raining down from the heavens above. Breath of fresh air. Drop anything good? Some iron, I'll take it. All right, I think these are the last of the meteors coming down right now. I don't see any more. Oop, oxygen level low, I gotta get back here and get some air. So yeah, meteor showers happen frequently. Uh, something you gotta watch out for at all times. Oh, keep your head on a swivel, you know? All right, so what's the next thing I can do? I got to reach 175,000 TI. Okay, that's going to take some time for sure. Whew. I guess what I could do is I could try to get my powers levels under control, maybe do a little exploring. I got an oxygen tank so I can fill up. And if I remember correctly from when I did a test run, there was like a golden crate like right over here someplace that has some good stuff in it. I'm going to head over there real quick, see if I can't grab it. Actually, you know what? I got oxygen tank tier 2 unlocked and that's not the crafting station I made inside here so why don't I go in there and actually get a little bit more oxygen right here to two so I need silicon cobalt two magnesium and a piece of titanium silicon uh, a piece of titanium cobalt uh, I think two magnesium I think I only need one cobalt and then I also need um, let's see if I can grab it here my oxygen tank and I can turn that into two higher capacity so now I can hold up to 200 oxygen look at me go all right, let's see if we can't zip over there, because I remember the golden crate was somewhere around this ledge right here. And uh, it was when I got going. I got going pretty good, and I got my little base going out here in the middle. I realized that this was going to be one of those games that's going to be a lot of fun to play. So I didn't want to get too much further into it. Golden crates usually have a, a plant in them that produces a lot of oxygen. Aha, right here, yep. They also have a figurine also, and they also have some other really important stuff in it too. Uh, let's go ahead and grab all of that, and let's break down the golden crate because I get another uh, super alloy out of that. Super alloys are all of the metals combined. Uh, so they're really kind of valuable. I don't really need any more magnesium. It's iron is what I really need. Alright, inventory is completely full. I didn't have to use my oxygen canister on that uh, that run there. That was pretty good. Now those meteors will sometimes drop aluminum which is going to be handy for stuff coming up here in the future. So I think I better... Uh, Keep my eyes peeled for that stuff too. Let's go ahead and yeah, here's some aluminum I got out of that um, out of that gold crate. So I guess we'll put it in here for right now. Actually, we'll put all the fun stuff in here uh, that I don't really have a good spot for. I got a little extra iron. Never a bad thing. All right, but this plant thing that I got right here, this golden seed, oxygen multiplier 600%. So oxygen right now is at 0.15 uh, ppq. So let's pop this thing out and put that one in. And what's it at now? Bam, 0.9. Just like that. 
So that definitely increases it a lot. But I do have an extra one now right now that I could actually plant and get uh, my oxygen producing faster. Uh, what did that just say I unlocked? I think it was a tier 2 backpack. Alright, so we need iron, silicon, and titanium. Silicon, iron, titanium. Alright, let's pop uh, the backpack off. And let's make the tier 2. Put that on. And if you notice there, there's the exoskeleton tier 1. I should make that so I can put like get a flashlight mod going or a torch mod. So what is that? Titanium, silicon, and magnesium. Silicon, titanium, and magnesium. Go ahead and make that real fast. Pop off the backpack, pop that thing on, put the backpack back on. There we go. So we got another row of uh, of equipment we can make. So that means we can make now the torch. So two magnesium and a piece of silicon. Let's see, piece of silicon, two magnesium. This is why I went around and collected all the things uh, early on as soon as I landed here. All right, so now with that, I got a flashlight. All right, we're living the good life here now. Let's just go ahead and grab a little bit more ice. Because now that I can make more atmosphere, I should make more atmosphere. So I'm going to make another vegetube. So I need magnesium and iron. There's some iron. There's some magnesium. And I'm going to need the, the seed of Lirma here. And let's go ahead and get this planted. And pop that in there. So even though it's not anywhere near as good as the golden one, it does increase it ever so slightly. So now I'm generating oxygen at a higher rate. Uh, I should probably generate... I think I got another piece of uh, iridium, right? Uh, where did it go? In here? Yeah, I did. Okay, so I can make another heater. Iron and silicon. Let's, I'm just putting all the stuff over here for right now. Squeeze that in nice and tight to each other. Oh, lost power. Okay, I need another wind turbine. Uh, let's make three of them. Let's put the other three right behind this one right here. I okay, got power is restored. Give it a little extra juice here so that I don't have that happen anymore. Terraformation's at 475 TI at the moment. It's going good. Heat is increased a little bit. Uh, and let's see, pressure. I can build more drills. So iron and titanium. One, two, three. I'm going to make three of these things. One, two, three. I'm just going to get this really going. All right. Plop down another one there. Plop down another one there. And plop down another one there. Bam. Look at that. Let's grab some ice while we're here because my water is getting a little low. All right, terraformation now is increasing quite a bit. Pressure is at 0.8, so that's not bad. Uh, there is a way that we can monitor energy levels here, which I probably should make that. So iron, silicon, and magnesium. Iron, silicon, and magnesium. Let's go ahead and do this for your energy levels. Actually, that's kind of in the way, isn't it? Let's bust that down. Just put it right here next to it if I can. There we go. Awesome. So here we can see our energy consumption and available wattage that we have, which is one kilowatt per hour that we have available. <laughs> These wind turbines don't produce a lot of energy, but they do enough for what I need. Now, there was some stuff still in that crate over there I wouldn't mind going and grabbing. I'm going to run out there and do that. Plus, i got to scour the landscape still to see what else I can find. We're knocking on the door of 1,000 TI, so we're getting to our one... Uh, out of 175% of what we needed, this can actually be broken down now that I've got that taken care of. Take a bit of iron. Alright, collected everything out of that crate. I'm just grabbing resources on the way back. I have a lot more inventory space than what I did when I first started, so i got to remember that I can grab stuff. A lot of stuff. Living compartment window. I can actually use that, I believe has like a wall also in between compartments so I could like section off it, it doesn't have to be just one big open room now but I can also use it to have a window in that area so that I can look around so the windows are kind of nice to have plus you can see the planet around you and all of its orange glory skies look uh look any any bluer they do kind of look yellow which they're kind of orange before so I guess that's technically a step in the right direction Speaking of these uh, windows, can I make one? Can I put one like right here? That way I can have this as like my storage area. And this can be other stuff. And then it's all about building more machines to get the terraformation process going faster. Ooh, look at that. New blueprint received. Solar panel tier one. What does it take to actually make one of those things? Okay, so this generates 6.5... Uh, energy per second, whereas this only does 1.2, so 
This is what, like six times better almost? So cobalt, iron, and silicon. I need two cobalt, uh, silicon, and iron. In fact, you know what? Why don't I double this up? Why don't I just make two of them? Power seems to be a thing around here that's always super important. So let's throw these right in front. Looks like they face that way. I, I could turn them, but, you know, whatever. I'll just keep them all facing this way. All right, there. So power should be good. Let me check my energy levels. 14 kilowatts per hour to spare. I'm only using 6.2, so I could actually double up what I'm doing right now and still have power, which is awesome. I don't have any iridium, so I can't double up that, and I don't have any other plants to plant, so I can't uh, do these things at all, the veggie tubes. So what can I do, drills? I can do drills. Let's see, those took iron, I believe. Let's see, three more of those. And what was the other thing it took? Titanium. Three more of those. I'm running a little low on titanium. All right, pressure is increasing nicely at 1.4 now that we've added those. So yeah, things are coming along swimmingly. All right, I think I'm going to wrap this episode up here, though, because this is the first one. We were just doing the first steps, after all. And uh, I'm going to let these machines run for a little bit, maybe collect some, uh, span out, collect some more resources and stuff. And then I'll pick this up uh, uh, next in next week's episode. So if you do enjoy this series, if you're enjoying this series, if you like this, this game, if you played it, if you haven't, but you just are interested to see how this is going to turn out, uh, leave a like and uh, leave a comment down below whether or not you think this will be kind of a fun series. There's a lot to explore, it looks like. Like, there's a, it looks like there's some wreckage up there. So, I can't wait to get to it. But that'll happen uh, in next week. So, thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and your holes to this episode. I'll be here terraforming this planet. I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.